Judah Maccabee Goes to the Doctor, a story for Hanukkah. By Ann D. Kofsky, illustrated by Talitha Shipman. Judah wanted to be the best big brother ever. Hannah was his only sister after all. But sometimes it was so hard. Just yesterday, he had built Hannah the most stupendous tower ever. But Hannah didn't think it was all that stupendous. And this morning, he tried to feed her some of his delicious Choco Monster Delight cereal. But Hannah did not seem to think it was all that delicious either. I don't get it, thought Judah sitting in his blanket fort. Why doesn't she like the things I do for her? Don't give up, sweetie, said his mom. Be patient, added his dad. She'll come around. The first day of Hanukkah was just around the corner. Sometimes little sisters can be like that, explained his bubby as she and Judah polished the menorah. I know how hard you are trying. You know, bubby continued, there was another Judah who lived a very long time ago. His name was Judah Maccabee and he had four brothers. Wow. I just have Hannah, said Judah. His brothers followed him everywhere, just the way that Hannah follows you around sometimes. He protected them and kept the Jewish people safe too. So he was the best brother? Judah exclaimed happily. One of the best and bravest, Bubby agreed, smiling. At candle lighting, Bubby gave Judah a Maccabee a shield, just like the one the first Judah used long ago when the story of Hanukkah took place. Judah loved his shield. It was bright and shiny with big Hebrew letters on the front. He carried it everywhere, protecting Hannah whenever he could, from things that were too hot, and things that were too cold. Nothing bad could get past Judah Maccabee's shield. On the last day of Hanukkah, Dad took Hannah and Judah to the doctor for their yearly checkups. It was Hannah's turn first. Judah watched carefully, holding his shield at the ready. But Hannah just giggled at the doctor's silly toy and gurgled when the cold stethoscope touched her skin. Judah smiled happily when the doctor said, she's a healthy girl. That's because I protect her, he said proudly. Keep it up, it's working, said the doctor with a wink. Then it was Judah's turn. The doctor checked his ears. Hello, anyone in there? She called, making Judah laugh. Then she looked down his throat and shone a light in his eyes. A healthy boy, the doctor smiled, and Judah smiled back. But then the doctor said, and now for your shot. Judah's smile quickly went. No, no way, no how, Judah announced, and he quickly hid his arms behind his shield. Maccabees do not get shots. But Judah, a shot is just like a shield, his dad explained. It protects us from sickness. But I'm not sick, so I don't need a shot. Hmm. We may have a problem then, said his dad. Why? asked Judah. 
you see, Hannah's too young for a shot, but if you get the shot, you'll be protected. You won't be able to get a new sickness, so she won't be able to catch it from you, keeping you both healthy. Hannah looked at Judah with her big blue eyes. And that's when Judah understood. Being the best and the bravest wasn't only an outside shiny shield thing, it was an on an inside thing. And that's what he had to show Hannah. So Judah Maccabee, the bravest warrior of them all, squeezed his eyes shut tight took a deep breath and said, okay. He stuck out his non-shield arm. Give it to me, I'm ready. Brave boy, said the doctor and quickly gave Judah his shot. Ouch, it stung. Judah cried a little bit. Even Maccabees don't like shots. But then the ouch went away and Judah felt just fine better than fine. He'd help protect Hannah. Judah, you are the best, bravest brother ever, said dad and the doctor together. And he was. Want to learn more about the history of Hanukkah? or how vaccines work, be sure to check out your local library. No one likes getting a shot, but I do have two activities that hopefully will help take the sting out of getting vaccinated. These two Let's Pretend centers focus on two aspects of vaccination, creating vaccines and giving and getting shots. Both can be done with things around your home. If you don't have all the materials I have, feel free to improvise. Grab some test tubes, some syringes and a few different colors of water and let your child have fun creating their own pretend vaccine by mixing the colors from test tube to test tube. This one totally takes a little bit of prep but it is completely worth the effort. They love this one. I call this one Jello Shots. So what you're gonna do is mix up um, just plain, unflavored, uncolored gelatin, according to package directions. And then you're going to put it in the refrigerator and wait for it to get stiff. Once your gelatin is set, pull it out of the mold and mix up some liquid watercolors or food coloring. Fill your syringes with the primary colors and let the kids go to town just injecting the gelatin with the different colors. <laughs> 